Hey, what if I told you that your next laptop could have a processor that is faster, cooler, and more efficient than the ones you're used to? And what if I told you that this processor is not made by Intel or AMD, but by a company that you probably associate with smartphones? Well, that's exactly what's happening right now. And in this video, I'm going to explain everything you need to know about the new wave of ARM-based processors for laptops. So, what is an ARM processor? ARM is a British company that designs CPU architectures and licenses them to other manufacturers, such as Qualcomm, MediaTek, Apple, and more. ARM processors are widely used in smartphones, tablets, smartwatches, and other devices that need low power consumption and high efficiency. You might have heard of Snapdragon, Exynos, Kirin, or Apple's A-series chips. These are all examples of ARM-based processors. But why are ARM processors so popular for mobile devices? Well, there are two main reasons. Battery life and heat dissipation. ARM processors use less power than x86 or x64 processors, which are the ones made by Intel and AMD for laptops and desktops. This means that devices with ARM processors can last longer on a single charge and have slimmer designs. It also means that ARM processors produce less heat, which allows for fanless designs and better performance. But you might ask, what about performance? And can ARM processors compete with Intel and AMD in terms of speed and power? Well. Until recently, the answer was no. ARM processors were mostly seen as good enough for basic tasks, but not for heavy-duty computing or gaming. However, things have changed dramatically in the last few years. The first major breakthrough came from Apple, which introduced its own ARM-based processors for Macs in 2020. These processors are called Apple Silicon, and they are based on the same architecture as the iPhone and iPad chips. Apple claims that its M1 and M2 chips are faster and more powerful than Intel's counterparts, and for the most part, that's true. Apple Silicon Macs have shown impressive performance in benchmarks and real-world tests, especially for tasks like video editing, photo editing, music production, and web browsing. But Apple is not the only player in the game. Qualcomm has been making ARM-based processors for Windows laptops for a few years now, but they were mostly limited to entry-level devices with modest performance. However, Qualcomm recently announced its new Snapdragon Elite X chip, which promises to deliver enough performance to rival AMD, Apple, and Intel. Qualcomm says that its chip will offer long battery life, 5G connectivity, AI capabilities, and support for Windows 11. Other manufacturers are also joining the race. MediaTek is focusing on entry-level laptops with its Campanio chips. Nvidia and AMD are reportedly working on their own ARM-based processors for computers. And Microsoft is developing its own custom chip for its Surface devices. So what does this mean for you as a consumer? Well, it means that you will have more options to choose from when buying a laptop in the near future. You will be able to enjoy longer battery life, slimmer designs, cooler operation, and better performance with ARM-based laptops. You will also be able to run mobile apps natively on your laptop. For example, Apple Silicon Macs can run iPhone and iPad apps without any emulation or compatibility issues. Windows 11 will also support Android apps through the Amazon App Store. However, there are also some challenges and limitations that you need to be aware of. One of them is app compatibility. Not all apps are optimized or available for ARM processors yet. For example, on Windows 10 on ARM devices, which use Qualcomm's chips, you can only run 32-bit x86 apps through emulation, which reduces performance, or native ARM apps, which are not very common. On Apple Silicon Macs, you can run most x86 or x64 apps through Rosetta 2, which is a translation layer, or native ARM apps, which are more prevalent. However, some apps may not work at all, or may have bugs or glitches. Another challenge is gaming. Gaming has never been a strong suit of Macs or Chromebooks, but Windows laptops have traditionally offered decent gaming performance with Intel or AMD chips and dedicated graphics cards. However, with ARM-based laptops, which use Qualcomm's chips, gaming is not very impressive yet. There are not many games that support ARM natively, and the ones that do are mostly casual or indie titles. Emulating x86 or x64 games is also not very efficient or reliable. However, this may change with the new Snapdragon Elite X chip, which claims to offer better gaming performance and support for DirectX 12. So, should you buy a laptop with an ARM processor? 
Well, that depends on your needs and preferences. If you value battery life, portability, and efficiency over performance, then an ARM-based laptop might be a good choice for you. If you mainly use your laptop for web browsing, email, social media, streaming, and office work, then an ARM-based laptop might be enough for you. If you also want to run mobile apps on your laptop, then an ARM-based laptop might be a bonus for you. However, if you need high performance, compatibility, and gaming capabilities, then an ARM-based laptop might not be the best option for you. If you use your laptop for heavy-duty tasks like video editing, 3D rendering, coding, or gaming, then an x86 or x64 laptop might be more suitable for you. If you also want to run a wide range of apps without any issues or limitations, then an x86 or x64 laptop might be more reliable for you. Of course, these are generalizations, and things may change in the near future as ARM processors become more powerful and compatible. But for now, these are the main differences and trade-offs that you need to consider when choosing between an ARM-based laptop and an x86 or x64 laptop. And that's it for this video. I hope you learned something new and interesting about the new wave of ARM-based processors for laptops. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And if you want to see more videos like this one, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload new content. Thanks for watching and see you next time.